unsolved murders in this country ever. The death of Elizabeth Short, who famously became known as the Black Dahlia. Now, a new true crime podcast is taking a fresh look at the case and trying to piece together clues 70 years later. 22-year-old Elizabeth Short was an aspiring actress trying to make it in Hollywood. On the morning of January 15, 1947, her body was found in an empty lot in a Los Angeles neighborhood. She had been gruesomely murdered. The case became a media sensation, the press dubbing Short the Black Dahlia, named in part because she was said to have worn black clothing. Over the years, there have been many suspects and widespread speculation as to who the killer was. It's been fodder for Hollywood scripts, like the recent TV drama, I Am The Night, starring Chris Pine. It is so easy for you. It's so easy. I lost my entire life. Even though no one has ever been charged, Yvette Gentile and Raja Pecorero are half-sisters who claim their great-grandfather, Dr. George O'Dow, is responsible for the notorious crime. The sisters now co-host the podcast, Root of Evil, the true story of the Hodel family and the Black Dahlia, which explores the details of the case. Joining us this morning, Yvette Gentile and Roger Pacarero, hosts of Root of Evil, the true story of the Hodel family and the Black Dahlia. Also with us, their great uncle, Steve Hodel, who is a guest on their podcast. Welcome to all of you. And, and Steve, Thank you I want to And we're so glad you're here. But Steve, I want to start with you. You're, uh, the irony of all this, you're a former L.A. cop. You first heard about this case when you were in the academy as, as, a, as a rookie. And then it becomes very personal when you see, after the death of your dad in 1999, a disturbing photograph in your father's personal album and, and a surprising conversation with a, an older half-sister. Tell us about this. Yeah, so my father passes in 99, and you do the things you have to do. And I'm on the phone with my half-sister, who I'd had maybe 10 minutes of conversations in the previous 50 years. And she comes out and she says, well, you know, our father was a suspect in the Black Dahlia murder. And I said, Tamar, what are you talking about? Where is this coming from? You know, she says, well, he didn't do it, but, you know, he was a suspect. And, of course, I was, I was very close to my father. And... Eventually, a number of things came into my possession that started me looking at it. I said, no way, I'll be able to exonerate him in a hot second, you know. And then I followed it for a year and a half, and it, things kept unfolding. Tell us about the photo. Huh? Yeah, the photo was one of the things that came into my possession, and uh, uh, his, uh, my father's wife gave it to me, and I said, who is this? And she says, I don't know, somebody your father knew from a long time ago. And it's a spitting image of Elizabeth Short, a black dahlia. She was 22 back then, and this was like a 40-year-old, 50-year-old uh, photo of her. And I said, but well, still, there's, there's no way. Well, maybe he knew her or something. And then a number of things come into my possession, and I start following it sh to show he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Eliminate him. And uh, it t took me 180 degrees the opposite direction. Roger, you're, you're this, and this is Steve's half-sister that we're talking about. Our uh, grandmother. Your grandmother, Steve's half-sister. Mm -hmm. This was something that she talked about openly while, while you guys were, were children, right? Yeah. What did she up, tell you? Growing up in Honolulu, Hawaii, she, it was like, oh, Rasha, go get me some milk, by the way. Your grandfather killed the Black Dahlia. Did you take her seriously back then? Unfortunately, yeah. She was an incredible storyteller, so you, you absolutely took her seriously. But you push it out like, okay, that's so far removed. Our mom protected us so much from all of that, but Tamar had no filter whatsoever. But... She, you know, she didn't, she told him that he didn't do it, but to us, mm -hmm. she, like, he did it. He did it. Y yeah. Your mom passes, and, and you're going through her things in a storage unit, and you come across this treasure trove of, of audio cassettes that she had been recording because she wanted to write a book, and, and that, that all of a sudden, it starts, the thread starts unraveling for you. Yeah, I mean, our mother had this storage unit for years and years and years, and she told us, she made sure take care of this storage unit, you know, because she had everything. She was the Nancy Drew in her own story, uh -huh. you know. And so when Rasha and I started to go through the storage and the things that we started to uncover was just mind-blowing, you know. And like you said, my, my mother had done a book called One Day She'll Darken, so she had saved 
all of her tape recordings from then. Because she had grown up thinking she was half black. Yes, her yeah. mother grew up thinking she was episode biracial. One. Yes, episode, episode, episode one. one. I, I'm only through the second uh, through the second episode of the podcast, but it's beyond it's fascinating, riveting. especially to, to hear her like in her own voice. I know. How do you think, by the way, that that she met, or like, how do you think he met, rather, Steve? Black Dahlia, Elizabeth Short. Well, you know, first of all, I wasn't sure on the photo. It, it looks like her and stuff. But eventually, I, you know, I do the investigation. The case is solved uh, according to the head DA. And this blasts open secret files in the DA's office. And in those files, we're reading the police reports. And they actually put them together. Uh, my father and her, they were boyfriend, girlfriend back then, in like 40, in the early 40s, mid 40s. So, you know, we've got that deadlocked. And then, of course, we've got confessions and everything else on the tapes, secret tapes. Actually, the case was solved back then. And they, for a whole bunch of reasons, you got to understand L.A. was very corrupt back then and, and had a lot of things going on with it. But they actually locked away. So it wasn't until we actually got in there and into the vault. And, yeah. and it was just mind, mind boggling. Do you think this will ever be resolved, that there will be actually well, a, a, a verdict on this? Yeah. I mean, we've already got. A lot of the top law enforcement saying case solved based on my investigation. Yeah. But we're going to, you know, I'm trying to get them to do DNA. We should, we should point out here that we reached out to the LAPD and they confirmed that Elizabeth Short's murder is in open investigation in a statement. They told us there have been several theories proffered over the years as to who may have been involved or committed Elizabeth Short's murder. To date, none of those theories have provided conclusive evidence that would cause the department to close the investigation. You're chuckling. Why are you chuckling at the statement? It's solved. It's solved. In our humble yeah. opinion, it's solved. What do you have to do to try to get this moved forward? I mean, you have what we're all doing the right evidence. Now. Well, what you got is you got the original top cops, all four of the top cops, independently saying, case solved, there's wow. George Hodel. Well, Root of evil, available on Apple iTunes. That's right, and wherever podcasts are available. Thank you so much for being here. Thank yeah. you. If you Thank want you. a great listen, listen to this podcast. Thank you. We'll be right back. Yes. 